Hi everyone, it's Adam Lee from Adam Lee Media, and today we are going to go through the Yahoo Weather app for iOS. This app is a free app that you can get on the App Store, so to begin, let's open up the app. When you first open up the Yahoo Weather app, you'll be greeted by your default location, or if you open this up for the first time ever, you'll be greeted with your local weather location. And by pressing on the top right hand corner, which is this plus symbol, you're able to add a new location for weather by either the city or the zip code. And a unique thing about the Yahoo Weather app is that for every location's weather that you are looking up, uh, Yahoo will pull uh, pictures from that location. So for example, I have, I'm looking at the weather for San Francisco right now. And so Yahoo is pulling uh, San Francisco images from Flickr. So that's why we see the Golden Gate Bridge. And so on the default screen, we see the name of the, your location and the local time there. So in San Francisco, the local time is 8.17 p.m. right now. We also see some basic weather uh, details. So we see its current uh, temperatures at 16 degrees the high and the low, which are 18 and 12 degrees, and also a little uh, description of the condition. So it's partly cloudy. If we drag up, we'll also see more uh, details about the weather. So we'll first see a window about the forecast. And we begin by looking at the hourly forecast for the next 24 hours. And this is scrollable by scrolling across the screen. We can see the next 24 hours from here. So you can see the time the temperature, and if there's any precipitation or any chance, it'll also say the chance of it. Below that, we'll see a five day or 10 day forecast, and you can toggle it by selecting the 5D or 10D buttons on the bottom left of the pane. And this shows your basic forecast. So again, the day, the weather condition, the high and the low. If we keep going down on the app, we get more details about the weather or the current weather. So we get what it feels like right now, the humidity, the visibility, and also a UV index. And below that, we also get a little description about the current weather. On the next pane below, we have a map. And to get more in details and info, if you select the map, we'll go into a full screen mode. And with this full screen mode, we, will, we can uh, cycle through a different overlays to see the temperature, the precipitation, the cloud cover or the wind, depending on your preference. So let's get out of that. The next uh, window pane we'll see is the precipitation chart. So for the next four periods, it shows the percentage, if there's any, of precipitation in the future. Uh, the next window is the wind pressure, or wind and pressure. So we see the wind, the speed, and the direction it's going at. We have a nice uh, windmill animation. And also we have a barometer of the pressure. And finally, we have a sun and moon window, which is basically a sunrise and sunset. And this is pretty creative because depending on the local time there, the sun will move in relationship to the time. So that's why the sun is very close to its sunset uh, location or sunset time because it's 820 and the sunset's supposed to be at 832. So it's pretty creative too. And that's basically it for all the weather settings. If we scroll all the way back up, there's also a bit more to this app. If you press the top right hand corner of the app, we get a side menu. First, we can edit the location. So if we want to remove a location, we're able to do that in this window. And we're also able to rearrange it. So the top one here will always be your default one. So when you open the app, it will always show that one. And you can also uh, turn on or off your local weather if you travel and find it to be a convenience. Uh, the left or the side menu also advertises some Yahoo apps that you might be interested in. And also there's some tools that include settings. You can send feedback to Yahoo and also you can rate the app on the app store. Uh, in the settings menu, there's one setting is that's how you want the weather to be measured. So it's either in Fahrenheit or Celsius, depending on your preference. And that's basically all the settings you can change. So if you ever want to update the app, all you have to do is drag all the way down, 
you'll see this gray Yahoo logo and all you do is let go and it'll update. And it'll frequently change the, change the background, which is nice, which is refreshing. You can cycle through all of your uh, locations. And generally it's a very nice, a very clean and very polished app. It works very smoothly, it updates pretty fast. And I highly recommend this app against your native weather app. This is much, much more uh, optimized, much more sleeker looking, and generally, I think in all ways, it's better than the default weather app. And anyways, if you have any comments, leave them below. Subscribe to my channel, like the video. I'm Adam for Andley Media, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Thank you.